old-fashioned bitch send you. Hello, and welcome to another episode of Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. My name is Dexter, we are in Grout's mansion, and he's insane. Let's find him. Hey, it's his wife. I knew there was going to be something up with you. Brain. Teddy. Ashes. What the hell is that? Bug. Entrails. Hi. You want a hug? No. Rose. And when the last petal falls, he will be turned into a dead. Unless he can get the kiss from his wife. Or a hug, I guess. Here's some people. Ah, oh, cool beard, man. Your hair's not great, but I like your beard. And time. He's obsessed with time. What is that? Uh, it's... 1.47? Alright, well... Should I try and kill her, or what? Yo, Grout. Oh, that's dead. Dead? Locked. What can I do here? Do I destroy Teddy? Do I destroy Brain? Do I play music? I play music. Okay. Now she's turned 180 degrees. To solve this puzzle in this room, you must play the uh, ostentatious gramophone to turn my wife 90 degrees so that the door unlocks. This place really is insane. What kind of a puzzle is that? The puzzle in this game, puzzles in this game are weirding me out. Because they're so simple. They're just like put in there. I don't, it's just, it's awkwardly, it's not, it's weird. I like it, but it's weird. Huh. I think Grout might be dead. I heard an explosion. It's just a shotgun. Grout's dead, and he didn't even have any clothes on when he died. Or did the clothes burn off you too? I guess yeah. Final death. Everything burns. So there's clothes too. I hear some monsters and stuff. I was really hoping to get to talk to Grout. I'm really disappointed, actually, that Grout is dead. I wanted to talk to him. I really wanted to talk to him. I had the sense that he was going to be a great, fun character. I'm not Grout. You already killed him. Or uh, Grout's dead. Who the hell are you? Let's do. I'm not Grout, and you already killed him. Grout is dead. Pity it could not be by my hand. No matter. Soon your self-made kings and false prophets and all who bear the mark of the beast will be washed from the earth for the coming of the Lord. Who the hell are you? Wait, 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 let's discuss this. Now you're starting to piss me off. Wait until I get over there. All right, is he actually like a vampire hunter or is he part of the vampire faction? Uh, uh, some other vampire... Fa I think he's probably the vampire hunter. Right, who the hell are you? Yes, you burn. Tell them it was Grünfeld Bach who sent your damned soul to that lake of fire. All agents of Satan shall return to whence they came. Let this righteous display serve as a promise to all who serve the arch fiend Lacroix. I'm coming for you, Lacroix. By the power of the Lord, I will cleanse your black soul. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, whatever. Oh, he's got like a cape and he's running over there. Is he going to try and fight me? No, I have a sense that he's going to be a villain for a while. Of course, I'm also a bit of a villain. Should I go down there, I guess? Target obstructed. What do you mean, obstructed? Do I just hop down? Alright. Well, well, well. I'm gonna hop down on that land. Expected bit headed on fire. No, 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 I don't want to die here. Stop, drop, and roll. Roll, roll, stop, drop. Alright, that's set off. 
Oh my god. Dude, no. Stop burning. Stop burning. Please get off of fire. Okay. I didn't like that. I'm dead. Cool. Freeze. Who said that? Alright, go away. I'm gonna chase this guy. This. Don't touch his body. Why do you have normal voice all of a sudden? Don't stay on fire, don't stay on fire. It was this way, right? Am I going the right way? Wait, I don't think this is the right way. Uh, I think I'm just going back up. I'm lost. No, I think I'm going the right way. I don't think there's much way to go. If there's people, it's the right way. Oh yeah, I'm on the other side here. I'm just give you a quick trance. Because I need you to not hit me. I'm eschewing my... Okay, I'm chasing Grunfeld Bach. Maybe my boss fight will be with Grunfeld. They all of a sudden got normal voices. I don't know if that's because of the mod I'm using. Or... It's actually a glitch in the game. Hey, stop right there. I'm on fire, and I'm insane. Would you please have the decency to stop right there? This room's empty. Yeah. Roof time! Bleh. I don't take fall damage, apparently. All right, well, that was a fun time, wasn't it? I'm just posing for my thumbnail. Oh, that seems good. That seems about right for a thumbnail. I like that. That would be the thumbnail. Anyway, let's just leave, because now it's open, apparently. I was really hoping to meet Throut. I'm so, so disappointed. I was going to be like, I was going to be like, hi, I'm Suck, and he would be like, I am Grout. That would have been awesome. Anyway, let's go talk to LaCroix. Let's go talk to LaCroix and uh, say hi to Chonk. I gotta go finish fight that lady that lives with me now. Evening there. Something burning? Ooh, smells like someone burnt the burgers. I don't smell anything. Never mind that, Chonk. I need to see LaCroix. Everything uh, smells sure, like burgers I'll to you. For you. Ah, jeez, I could go for one of them double spaced burgers with the onions and the cheese and some bacon and a guacamole. Guacamole and a burger? What's that? that good? You know what, Chunk? You're an alright guy. If I weren't an per awful person, I'd, I'd, I'd hang out with you. I think you're better off without me. I have more sympathy for <laughs> Chunk than I do for that lady. It's like, no, you can't be with me. It's too dangerous. And then I'm like, Chunk, you can't be with me. It's too dangerous. But the other lady, it's like, yeah, sure, come live at my dangerous apartment. The primogen still whatever. haven't been contacted by Grout. I thought I made it clear that you were not supposed to come back until we had heard from him. Grout's dead. Or First of all, Grout no longer exists. Grout's dead? What? I, I know what you're thinking. I didn't kill him, though. Okay? Yeah, this guy, Bach, sent the house on fire and he killed me. Uh, who's Bach? He tried to burn me up and he really hates you. Let's pick that option, number three. Bach! Every time I think he's lost the scent. So, Bach killed Grout to draw me out. Uh, it seemed like Grout was already dead when he arrived. Bok is a hunter. They stalk and kill our kind to appease their god. But like many mortals, their so-called faith is nothing but a conduit through which they quench their killing urge. Who else would have killed Grout? On the way, I saw Nines Rodriguez leaving the mansion. No, let's not start that trouble. Nines could have done it. He was there too. Let's pick a few. I don't want to get away Nines. I just don't. Let you finish. With whom do you presume you're speaking? I was just going to add I saw Nines there. Look at me. Damn it, I didn't get a choice. Are you sure it was Nines Rodriguez? Because if it was, the consequences... Do you know where this might lead? Do you really have any idea? Uh, why don't you tell me, Captain Dramatic? We're going to go find and kill him. I'm positive it was Nines. This man... This made me in war with the Anarchs, is that right? 
I guess we're just going to start a full scale war because uh, full scale war. I don't really seem to have any choice. I'm being led down dialogue options. I'm not really into. Um, I was positive it was nines. Why don't you tell me, Captain Dramatic? I'm glad you find this so amusing. I don't. And do you know why? It means... Under most circumstances, I would call a blood hunt on the murderer immediately. However, the Anarchs of this city may interpret such an action to be a declaration of war. I do not want a war with them. This decision will take some time. I need to confer with the Primogen on this. In the meantime, I've come to a decision on the Ankaran sarcophagus, and I believe that for the safety of the inhabitants of this city, we need to place the sarcophagus under Camarilla protection until its contents can be confirmed. This also is very important, so I need to call upon your skill once more. The Ankaran sarcophagus was quietly delivered to the Museum of Natural History a few hours ago. I would like you to bring it back here for safekeeping. Gladly. The manifest from the Dane shows there was a small box from the same dig on board, but it was listed as missing. Keep an eye open for it. It may have been overlooked. It's crucial we get the sarcophagus in our possession within the next few hours. The sarcophagus is as good as here. I need money. I'm broke from doing the dirty work. I don't even know why I went to sea grout. I'm through with running your errands. No, I need money and I'm broke from doing the dirty work. Begging does not befit one of our blood. I suggest you put some effort into developing a more elegant elocution. Here, do something about your attire as well. I got the money, though, so I don't know what was so wrong about what I said. Uh, now that I'm paid, I'm leaving. I'm through jumping into your hoops. Now, so what do I do now? Here are the keys to the front door of the museum. Well, that's convenient. The sarcophagus should be in an examination room of some sort. There's a small security staff on site, but I don't want a massacre. <laughs> Mortals are just as easy to deceive as they are to kill. <laughs> you know it's going to turn into something bad. You just know. I don't have the skill. I don't have the skill to do anything but kill. Oh, keep the keys. I'm going in topside, but I have questions first. I'm ready to go, but not through the front door. No keys. No keys needed. I'll find another way. I have a few things to do to prep for this, though. I'm ready to go. No keys. No keys. Keep. Why aren't you taking the keys? Sorry if I clap loudly near the microphone, but I'm, I'm, I'm. None of these options are to take the front door keys. I want to just take the front door keys, man. Keep the keys. I'm going to topside. I'm ready to go. Yeah, none of these. Okay, I have a few things to do. I'll prep. Shut up. I think he's going to teleport me um, to the next place. But first, I want to check in with my, my, my old, with the old ball and chain. It's a, it's a nice night out, huh? It sure is, bro. Why don't you go into that dark alley, please? Oh, I turned around. Why don't you uh, whip your thing up? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> All right, lovely Felda. evening. Lovely evening. I agree. Thanks for whipping your thing out so that I can suck. Now I gotta go meet my uh, girlfriend. What was her name? Hen Helen? H Heather? Patricia? I need new clothes. Where can I buy new clothes? The is right. Hey, lady, can you get me some new clothes? Do you just stand at the kitchen where you belong? Get it? Because of sexism? <laughs> All right. Finally, you're back. I thought maybe something happened to you. I shouldn't even think such a thing. I mean, if you disappeared, how could I go on? But you're here now. I'm so glad when you're near me. I don't think this is going to work out that well. <laughs> Looks like a certain ghoul needs her blood fixed. You already burned that blood I gave you? Calm down, my pet. Here, take me internally. I'm yours for... Ugh. Looks like a certain... You already burned that blood I get? Okay, I'm just... I'm a terrible person. Let's go with it. <laughs> I don't have nice options. I wanted to play like a neutral... A neutral character. Uh, a neutral individualist character. But I'm... 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 I'm, 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 I'm not... There's no neutral option. You know, I like that way my options bounce. Maneuver the factions and stuff. But he's not really giving me those options at the moment. Was earlier a bit, but... Right, let's see. 
Calm down, my pet. Here, take me into... No, that's way too... I'm not going to say that, first of all. Uh, you already burned that blood I gave you. Three. Blood? What do you mean? I fed you my blood that night. That's why you feel so alive. I didn't mean anything by it. Please, give me your blood. I don't know. Maybe I should find somebody who can appreciate it. No, this is... Here. <sighs> this feeling. It's... It's love. Oh, all I can feel is love for you. I don't like this. Uh, I'd rather you show us your... And I for you. It's now amusing. I'd rather you showed your love with gifts. I almost forgot. I got a college loan check today. Here, I want you to take some of the money. I don't like this. This is making me feel weird. Ah, uh, your college is low money. You can't take this. You can't drop out. Thanks, I could use some new clothes. <laughs> this is it. No. <laughs> I can't take this. You can't drop out. I'd rather you kept it. I think I'm going to drop out of school. You know, so I can watch over you during the day or run errands for you. It's the least I can do to earn my keep. It saved your life, but it's still your life, not mine. Oh, God. I don't like this. I didn't think it would be this weird. Heather, forget me. Live your life. You can't stay here anymore. But I... Go and never come back. Go back to your life. I have to go. I have class tomorrow and my grandmother must be worried about me. Goodbye, Heather. I couldn't do it. It made me feel too weird. I didn't like it. No. I didn't like it at all. Sorry, that's the end of Heather. Now I'm alone again. I need to find somebody like Jeanette. I miss Jeanette. Do I have any emails? Okay, oops, I picked an e email. Um, seven. Uh, repaid favor. Stop by my apartment when you get a chance. I'll set you up. That's good. He has like weapons and stuff. Don't touch the butter. The new extreme sport that's sweeping the nation is now on a limited time edition DVD. Watch Superstars, Iron Will, Mick Mann, Brock Dryhands Heights, and Marjorie Mike Davenport as they use every bit of the restaurant in their body to not touch the butter. One bowl of butter, two contestant, contestants, three judges, and a hell of a lot of willpower to order a login to www.don'ttouchthebutter.vtm. All right, I'll do that, and I'll get back to you. A sacrifice from a friend. A bishop is sacrificed for the king. Is that referring to... Is that referring to... Grout? Being sacrificed for the king? Although it's Prince Lacroix, not king. Where is the... Pr if there's a prince, then there's got to be a king, right? There's a higher level. Who lived here again? Oh yeah, my neighbor who was friends with Muddy. Who is dead? Alright. Let's head on down. What was the next thing that I wanted to do? Um, I want to visit... I have some Plague Bearer stuff. First of all, I was hoping to find some more side quests in the, in the downtown area. Maybe I should go check out that church, whatever the confession is called. I just punched again. When I do that, I'm not pressing anything, it just punches. All right, so, uh, in order to do more Plague Bear requests, I need to find some uh, people in the homeless population who will be willing to speak to me, which is a pretty vague instruction. Uh, I should buy some more bullets, Partner. since I just got uh, some money from LaCroix. Buy some more of these. Always helpful. And uh, buy some more nine clothes. I could sell this. How much would it give me? Not a lot of money. Eight. And then it's one less thing to deal with. But where's my ammo? Well, I should be able to sell the ammo too, right? Ask her. Do you have any clothes for me? Ah, I have a heavy set of clothing with axes armor. Heavy clothing has an armor rating of one. There are no stat penalties for equipping it. 
Is it really worth it to get it for $367? That's half of all the money I have. And it only has an arm rating of 1. I wonder if I could find something better. I'm not going to do an impulse purchase, even though I'd like that, since I'm not really sure exactly what I'm going to be doing for the next uh, rest of this episode. So what I want to do is I want to check out this place and see if I can get in. Probably going to be empty and nothing there. I need to find some people in the homeless population to talk to me. Where is that to be likely? Wait, there is a place over there, you know, where there's a bunch of homeless people over underneath nine there? the last round. That seems like it had a lot of homeless people in it, so maybe I should try there. But first I want to check out Confession. And I sense there'll be music in here that will give me a copyright strike, but that's fine because I don't put ads on. And uh, this is just a fun hobby for me and not my livelihood. All right, what's up? <laughs> I knew you'd talk to me. I swear you were all like totally drawn to me. Okay, I'm surprised know. I don't know you. I usually meet all the LA vampires out on the scene. Not a lot of you out tonight, which is weird because I don't know of any parties going on. I have no idea what you're talking about. I think you have the wrong person. Vampires, huh? I have no idea what you're talking about. No, come on. It's totally cool. I'm Patty. Seriously, everyone knows me. Besides, I just wanted to ask you if you've seen someone. Uh, fine, who? No, who is it? Yeah, fine, who? His name is Kent Allen Ryan. He's a Toreador. Really good looking, dresses really well, like all Prada usually. Never heard of him happy. Oh, well, he's pretty powerful. Oh my god. He's probably like too far behind the scenes for you to know about him. Maybe you know some of the people who work for him. I'm sorry, the Reagan the Brent Snowcraft. Goodbye. No, don't go. I really need to find him. Really. Maybe you can ask around. Why should I? Oh, look. I haven't seen him in days. He said he'd come see me again. He promised. I might age. He promised I wouldn't get thirsty. Well, I don't know what to tell you. Have some composure. Well, fine. You're just some no-dick fledgling. I've hung out with way more powerful vampires than you'll ever know. I wouldn't drink your gutter blood if you were the last vampire on Earth! Alright. Having a... What is it? A nice cool moment? Alright. Uh, what do I got here? So I will be getting Christmas cards when you're saying, Oh well, keep your voice down before I rip out your larynx. That was my option. Alright, bye. I didn't like her. Alright, what about you? Um... I just want to see if your voice was as angelic as you. It is. You are. I've never seen you in here before. I just got out of jail for stealing ladies' hearts. If I'd known you were here, I'd have stopped a lot sooner. Yeah, you would have remembered seeing me. I'm pretty sizzle. S yeah. That was such a geeky thing to say. Uh, now that I'm here, what should we do? I just got out of jail for stealing ladies' hearts. That's the best one. I tell you what. If the Pope, the President, and my high school history teacher all show up in the next few minutes, I'll make out with you right in front of them. Okay. Well, she just got rid of me. That was a pretty good line. Hey, what about you? Oh, tragedy. <gasps> I've seen the insulted left and right. What about you? Everybody comes in here's got to have a short house rules. Inhibition's the first thing to go. Do more of these and you'll be telling me your nastiest, dirtiest stories. I am your beat priestess, and it's time to confess. Uh, you have a donut shirt. That's pretty cool. Uh, who are you, bartender or groupie for the cure? Who are you? 
Venus was her name. Got anything you want to confess? That warehouse that blew up in Santa Monica? That was me. Hmm, oh, I, I took the wrong yes. one. I'm going to need details, so I know whether to bore a Hail Mary or a highway to hell. The warehouse that blew up in Santa Monica? That was me, that's what I'm gonna say. Oh yeah? I've been waiting for someone like you to come in here. You see, I've got this situation that's gotten a little out of hand, and I need someone to inform some people that they won't be getting paid this month. Intrigued yet? Since the minute you started moving your lips. Well, the parking lot next to the Empire Hotel. Couple of guys, Russian accents, bit thick. I need you to tell them Venus doesn't have their money. That's it. That's it? What's in it for me? Drinks on the house for a week. I don't drink. You want cash? Whatever, I can do that. Question is, are you worth it? Definitely, I'll do it. Hmm, I expected you'd bite. Empire Hotel, tell them I'm broke. You can run, right? Never mind, just don't go starting any street fights, all right? These guys are connected. Anyhow, a lot of people have yet to confess to the beat priesters. Later, darling. All right, back in a minute. All right, let's go. Uh, let's go sell that. Where am I? I'm lost. I'm gonna go this way. Bye, ladies. Nice talking to you. I got totally shut down. Oh. Let's go beat up some Russians. Empire Hotel, right over here. She's gonna pay me to tell them that she doesn't have any money. And then she's gonna pay somebody else to beat up me because when I go to ask for my money. Empty parking lot at the Empire Hotel. Ah, oh, here we go. Let me get my bat. Which one's the best one? Should I do bat or... Alright, and then this is... Yeah. How was I selecting arms in that place when all I have to do is click that and I can unarm myself? I'm so dumb. Oh, I just realized. Uh, who do I speak to? Yes, hello. Fashion bitch send you. Yes, that she did. Money. Where is money? You don't have the money. Uh, she told me to tell you she doesn't have the money. No money? No money. You already received the money. Yeah. Bitch, we'll be back next month. I will. <sighs> you already have the money, Droog. Well, that was an easy. That was an easy quest. And I got experience point from it. I'm going to the rage weapons or stealth or something. It's about time to shop for some new stealth before I uh, new skills before I get them. I want to get some uh, some points before I go on the next oh, mission. Nice Can ride I get out, out huh? my way? I struck up with the ladies. Are there any men I can seduce? Hey, big spender. Yeah. <laughs> hey, big spender. Yeah. Who's <laughs> doing that dance? All right. I mean, take the mask off and maybe put a shirt on and we'll talk. Oh, hang on. There's an actual dance button. I was. I suck at dancing. Mm -hmm. Fucking mayhem, bro. Yeah, man. This. Is mayhem. They've all gathered around me like they're gonna sacrifice me or something. Okay, okay, done dancing. I'm sorry, I, I gotta go talk to you. Uh, Venus? What? What? I passed on your message. I can't hear you! Let's talk in my office! Okay. Not interested. She wasn't asking you, it was me. What is happening here? Well, you certainly did better than my bouncer did. Poor dear can't turn his neck to the right anymore. Already had a call from Boris. Wasn't too happy about tonight, son of a bitch. Say, how would you like to get into the club business, hmm? I have a club in my pocket. If you know what I mean. To beat people with. Uh, I'm listening. Well, to start this club, I have to take out a significant loan from a king bastard by the name of Boris, and every time I haven't been able to make the monthly plus interest, the bastard takes what he feels is a suitable late fee. Go on. 
I've got a club to run, so I'll be blunt. I refuse to fuck that fat, misogynistic old man one more time to hold on to the club. So I need someone to eliminate him. Do this, and I'll make you a silent partner. Uh, what's the catch? Boris is high up in the Russian Mafia. Does that make a difference? He's still human, right? He'll be dead before the sun rises. He's at the Empire Hotel. Always has a few of the fiercest bully boys standing around trying to outsneer each other. He's got a short temper, and more than likely he's been drinking for the last four hours. Here, key to the penthouse level. Sounds like my kind of guy. When I get back, we'll talk about our club. Seize the means of dance. Alright. Let's head You see how I say alright all the time? I'll just hop down here. Alright, get in some quick dance before I go to kill a guy. Real quick. Alright, they stopped dancing as soon as I arrived. Lovely and they scream. So, let's get out of here. Alright, let's try Buffalo. Yeah, I figured probably the top floor, I should have thought. Alright, number six. Let's just walk in and kill him. Uh, blood buff, presence. I forget what presence does. Buy a watch. I have a watch. Do you want it? Uh, six, please. This shouldn't be that hard. I mean, they're they're humans, right? How tough is a human? Locked, locked. Okay. Use the mafia key. All right, let's sneak around. I'm not sure if there will be anybody in the hallway. Oh, I hear steps to my left. They speculate that it could be from a yet undiscovered family of sea creatures. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Be faster! Be faster. Kill him! Kill him! Alright, that worked. Oh, yes, this thing I wanted! Oh, yes! Based in the region, three American citizens are among the missing. A recent outbreak of several highly contagious diseases in downtown Los Angeles has CDC officials concerned Los Angeles may be a hot zone for a throw? deadly new type of communicable virus. I'm trying Medical to be better. Started seeing a dramatic increase in the amount mm. of patients with severe respiratory. I don't want to shoot because then I might start something big. <gasps> Do you think if they saw me, they'd just start attacking right away? I just gotta kill Boris, but I forgot to check exactly which room he's in. He's not moving. Do you think I can stealth my way through? I mean, any less. Eh. What's this? Anything? It's a cool computer. God! Those old TVs, man. Bathroom. That looks uncomfortable. Yeah, this is going to be a toilet room. Yep. Ah, oh, perfect. Oh, great. Great. Anything in here? Not really. Anything down here? Not really. Oops, sorry. All right. Let's just check as many rooms. Yep. Undiscovered family of sea creatures. A tourist bus destined for the ancient mm. city of Angkor Wat that failed to return Wednesday night was found this morning. Though with... Officials have dispatched several military units. Damn, I need to get in there. But there's two of them, and I need to find something to throw. See? Yeah, you just click on that lockpicks. That's why I was confused. Failed. Lockpick of seven. Not getting in there. This is open. Alright. If I could pick up the trash can and throw it, that would be great. I want to find something to throw in that room so I can distract one of them. Employees only. Oh, that was not a real door. That one just painted on. This is not going to lockpick, I know that. Yeah. I knew it. That's locked, but not around the other side, but there's like four guys in it. So, let's think of the way to do this. I'm assuming that Boris is either in the ballroom or way back here somewhere. It's just a guy standing there. 
Wait, they don't seem freaked out that I'm here. Even though I'm skulking around. That must be where Boris is. Do you think I could just do a quick assassination on him? Come on, give me something I can throw, man. What's in here? Does this go anywhere at all? It goes up. That's not very helpful. Because I'm down here. Eh. Alright, so above me there's something. This is the top floor though, top floor six. I'm unarmed. Excuse me. Astanavis, who the hell are you? Let me in. Spasiba. Shdu ete takoya, chuar dvozmi, pa chimu dvu ich vifustil. Who the hell are you? Uh, I have business to discuss with you. Well, spit it out before Dima blows your head all over the wall. This would be easier without him hovering over me. Uh, I have a... It's a sensitive proposition I have. Perhaps he should step outside. You want Dima to leave? Why would I allow that? Give me a seduction option. So we can speak in private. Forget it. He stays. Now tell me business. If you are lucky, you will live with life. Um, Avina sent me. She wants the debt wiped and she wants you out of her life. Malin Kayas Folach, stupid, spoiled American child. I give her so much and she spits in my face. She believes she has more than paid for it. So, what? You are her messenger boy? You do work for stupid little girl? You are not man. I'm more of a man than you'll ever be. <laughs> Hand over the deed. I don't care what you think. Uh, head over the deed. You will get nothing from me. Go tell that bitch she can pack up Little Club. Her name is coming off it. Get the hell out of here. Pashli, go. Maybe you misunderstood me. Call the dead now. Hey, yeah, 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 hang on, hang on. Hang on. Fortitude, fortitude. Nope, 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 nope. Ah, I can't select anything that I want. I have the shotgun. This has not turned out how I thought it would turn out. Bye. Okay, hang on, hang on. Uh, it's so... I was stumbling with all of the weapons here. Alright, hang on. I still have fortitude. He's stuck around there. I killed Boris. Ooh, that was tight. I tranced him. Nope. Damn it. I was not prepared. As soon as I got into that, I thought that I would walk into the room and I would set up my stuff before I talked to him. I didn't realize that the guard would lead me directly into a cutscene. Alright, this is another attempt. I probably cut that last attempt because it actually worked. It turned out pretty well, but I made a few mistakes. I think I've got it now, but what I'm going to do is go to my character sheet. I should probably have bought my things. Let's see, soak is good there. I got experience points, which is cool. Um, if I put it into firearms, that would be good. It costs me six. What about for like strength and stamina? Uh, stamina overall toughness. That might be good, but it's cost me eight to bring that up. Dexterity hit soak damage. That allows me to soak up more damage, but I'm, when I put on fortitude, it's gonna bring that all up. Hmm. See, presence. 10% minus to that. Okay, so that's what presence does. It's like a, a, a field, it's like a range of area effect. Subterfuge, security, melee, firearms. Ranged combat. Could do that. The range will increase my. 
damage with my gun type. I really want that. I'll go with firearms. I mean, I'm gonna raise it up anyway. Uh, anything else, actually? Let's see. Dominate, no. Fortitude, dominate. Level two, level one is trance, level two, brain wipe. Level three is suicide. Activation costs two blood forces, the victim to suffer a fatal hit. Makes it have a lesser effect. Hmm, that costs 10 though, which is expensive. Uh, firearms is good, and then stamina would also be good, but I'm just running low on stamina. I don't have enough of that. Okay, well, let's just accept that and do a quick save right here. And uh, now my plan is to go on a rampage, which is going to be pretty difficult. I'm going to start with the shotgun, and I'm going to try and keep the door closed on them and not let them run in. So here's what we're going to do. Um, oops, I got the wrong thing. Yeah, I want to select that. Uh, and then I want to select, let's see, should I select Fortitude, Trans, okay, hang on. Fortitude, click it twice and I get Trance, which is what I want. So, all right, I probably should have used Fortitude then. Oops. Shut the door, shut the door, shut the door, shut the door. I'm pressing the button to shut the door. It won't shut the door. <sighs> Anybody who else comes around that corner is getting tranced. Right. My fortitude back on. Alright, I think it worked. My plan. Uh, I need to increase... My, my weapon skills. Alright. Anybody else comes through that door is getting tranced. If I stand on the side, will they be able to open it, actually? I'm not sure. I might be blocking it. Oh my god, he hit me through the door. Please no. Reload also. Yes, I can actually block the door. That's great. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Wonderful. I found a way to cheat the game. I swore that taking... Okay, hang on. Estrogen. Didn't I have morphine from somewhere? Uh, I can't use. Why not? Blood Bay I can use. It restores blood points. What is health? This heavy thing could have belonged to a foes' predatory beast. It decreases your chance to frenzy. Hmm. I'll just block this door. I mean, it's working. Yep. Oh, it's not working anymore. Hang on. Trance is great. I love trance. Trance is cool. Because it means they're not attacking you. Whereas Fortitude just soaks up the damage when they're attacking you. Oh, there's somebody else at the door. I wonder if they want to get trance too. Uh, target was obstructed. Anybody else who comes to that door is getting tranced hard. Come on. I want these experience points so that I can complete my mission at the Natural History Museum much easier. This is working. I feel like I should put on fortitude right now. Is there anything else here that I can take? I wonder if they can hear my steps. Money clip, $200. That's good. Good thing I didn't miss that. He's sending faxes. Fancy ring. Where? Oh, there it is. Fancy ring. I can pawn that. No, 
Oh, did I do that? Oops. All right, let's go ahead and quick save. Because I'm just gonna just trance, please. Okay, open the door, please. Right, that should do it. And he's dead. I didn't count all the people here. So I'm not really sure where there's more people. But if I do run into anybody else, they're getting tranced. Um, I wonder if I can get out through this way. I know it was locked the other way. All right, it's locked this way too. Well, we're not going in the ballroom. I don't know if I killed everybody, but I got some money out of it. I got experience points. I killed a Russian. It's fun times. All right. I I I I'm not, I know I'm not good at this game, as you can tell, but uh, it is fun, and I feel like I'm getting a better hand of the handle on the combat right now than I had before. This is actually trying to pay attention and stuff. But so far, I'm really enjoying this game. I'm just walking around with a gun. Let's turn that up. I thought it was like a motorcycle next to me. <laughs> Excuse me. Get out of the way. Get out of the door. Get out of here. Oh. It's a nice night out, huh? You f fat bastard. Anything over here? Sorry, I've got... Oh, uh, so there's another guy there. I couldn't see him. I was like, ooh, a free suck. No. I'd have to trance one it. Well, hey there, handsome. How are you doing today? <laughs> All right. Thanks, bro. Thanks for the suck behind the church. Okay, let's go find Venus. Yo, Venus, what's up? Call, call me uh, the. Uh, there you are. Finished yet? Oh, yes, I'm finished. Uh, let's talk in your office. What? Jesus. Let's talk in your office. No, I can't hear you. Let's talk in my office. Okay, that sounds like a fine idea. Oh, brother. I know, man. I know. Okay, hi. What's up? Boris. He's dead. Is that Boris's blood? Guess we're partners then. If you blood. only knew what I had to do over the years to keep this place open, tell you what, partner. Come in every few days and I'll give you your cut. Here's tonight. I've got some money to make us. I'll yeah. hold your share of the profits. Don't forget to drop by and scoop them up once in a while, hmm? You'll see me again and often, don't worry. Goodbye, Venus. I don't have any suggestions for the club. I don't care. I hate this place. I hate clubs. I have a suggestion. Put some girls in the cages. That'll be fun. Also some guys, you know. Yeah. Mayhem, bro. All right. Totally mayhem, bro. <laughs> All right, I'll see you in the next episode of Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. My name is Dexter, and uh, we're going to go visit the museum. Sucks, bro. Oh, brother. Oh, yeah, it does suck, bro. <laughs> you got that right. I don't know what that means. Sucks, bro. Sucks, bro. Sucks. All right, bye.